続いてはイノベーション連携のベルリン優勝の日本日のマキシミリアン・ワイドマンさんですそれでは3番目のご登場となりますが準備ができ次第スタートいたしますそれではお願いいたしますではお願いいたします拍手でお答えください I'm always wanted to do that with a company called Kanichi. <laughs> so I'll take you through what Kanichi does and why we're called Kanichi and what our idea, what our motives are. You see the first slide? Let's get this up. No? Ah.、Uh, no? No? Ah, this one. <laughs> Got it, sorted. So, before, before I start telling you about Kunichi, I want you to think about your last hotel stay. And seriously, put yourself into the last time you went to a hotel. How was that experience? And don't you love hotels the same way I love hotels? If you think about hotels, the Grand Budapest is you know, something you would potentially think about. But what actually happened when you went to that hotel? What happened? Most likely, it looks something like this you had to queue. You were standing there. You had to fill out registration forms. You had to pay. You had to run through a complex process. So it wasn't at all the idea of the Grand Budapest Hotel, something which is you know, fantastic and easy and, and, and gives you that pleasant experience. So, what I want to do is I want to introduce you to George. And George is this typical business traveler. You know, he's on the road a lot. He goes traveling two to three times per week. He stays at different hotels. And George has to run through a bunch of different problems, you know, starting. With which tie to pack and you know, which shirt to take, etc. But also some more,、uh, some more severe challenges in the hotel. So when he gets there, he has to queue every single time. He has to wait for check in, for check out. He has to run through complex payment processes. So he has to hand over his credit card. If he uses a virtual credit card, he will have problems with the acceptance. He has to pay, prepay, leave a deposit. It's a really complex process. It doesn't feel easy and seamless. He has to run through paperwork. So he has to collect the invoice. He has to take that invoice, scan it, pass it on to his travel management department. It's a really, really long and winding process. And there's Deborah. So Deborah is George's travel manager. Deborah has to do the entire travel management for all the different travelers and all, his fellow, and, and all her fellow employees. So she has to correct the expenses. She has to collect them, scan them, pass them on. It's a really, really long process. You can assume that for a corporate, usually it takes around 45 minutes per employee after every travel to run through the entire expense management process. So, end of the day, companies are losing a lot of money. If you look at a company where you have many travelers traveling every day, you see how much money they are losing just by queuing, running through processes, but especially the long tail process. And then there's another interesting factor if you look at hotels. Hotels are actually facing a huge threat, both internally, market consolidation, so Marriott and Starwood coming together, for example, but also external threats, Airbnb, for example. 5% of Airbnb's global revenues last year were made up of corporate travel, a tool which was purely leisure driven, now eats up the corporate space. And then you have young travelers, Generation Y, Z, people who want personalization, people who will make up 50% of your guests. By 2020. And the question is you know, what are you doing? What are you doing as a hotel to make the service special to exactly those travelers and to cater against the problem of Airbnb eating it up because it is a more personalized, a more seamless experience? So we truly believe that hotels are a bit like standing on Titanic and crashing into a big iceberg because they know what's coming, but they don't know what to do. We're here to help. With Kunichi, what we do is we are a technology layer which is placed in between hotels and between travelers. In order to make the、uh, entire experience seamless, we use beacons, so Bluetooth beacons, which we place at the hotel. And these beacons allow us to recognize a traveler in real time and have a very seamless experience.、Um, bit about us as a company we're based in Berlin, we're 50 people in Berlin, we have an office in Shanghai as well, we have over 20 million users. Um, won a bunch of different awards in the corporate travel space, from BTN Award in New York to awards in,、uh, in Germany and, and Asia. 
The interesting thing about us and what we do different to many other companies in the travel space is we integrate with every single player in the hospitality line. So that means PMS systems, door lock systems, payment systems. And we've been spending the last two and a half years to do all these integrations to create a very seamless experience in one single application. Now, what we best do is summarize by looking at the three C's, which is firstly check in, check out. So we allow guests to have a very easy and seamless check-in process. They can use their smartphone to check into the hotel, pay for the hotel similar to paying for an Uber. Customization, we actually recognize the traveler in real time. That's why it's called Konichi, Konichiwa, the possibility to actually say hello to guests in real time the moment they walk into the hotel. And lastly, we establish a communication channel between guests and hotels to exchange communication, but also to push offers and special treatments to guests while they're at the hotel. Now, you can best see what we do here. Um, this is what it looks like on the, uh, on the consumer side, on the guest side. They can use their smartphone to check into their hotel, pay for their hotel, similar to paying for an Uber. Um, they can use their smartphone um, to be recognized, so their profile pops up at the hotel in real time. They can see who they are, this is the hotel side. They can use their smartphone to actually unlock the door. Um, so your smartphone is the key for every hotel room. Um, and lastly, one of the most loved features is they can use their smartphone to actually check out. So no need to queue next morning. If you want to separate expenses, you can do it all through a simple click. So the beauty of what we do is we've developed an SDK, which is a software development kit, a piece of code, which we can take and essentially implement into any travel application out there. So the application is one thing, but what we've done is we've taken this SDK and put it into OTA, so online travel applications such as HRS, we've given it to, to big corporates um, like Daimler, um, who are using that for the travelers to enhance the travel experience. We've passed it on to companies like Concur, Sabre, CWT, to really make every travel app as seamless and easy as possible. I want to leave you with uh, a small clip we just aired uh, a couple of days ago um, about how we see the easiness and the seamlessness of travel. So enjoy it and have a great day.